Hey, super amazing you. Yes, you. You're welcome back to today's episode. So today I'll be looking at the second step on the strategy number four. Strategy number four is simply about compiling documents, compiling documents. So in today's video, I'll share with you the second step or the second thing you need to do. In the last video, I said that you should compile your letter of introduction or put your letter of introduction together and I explained quite a great deal on what should be in your letter of introduction or what it looks like or what it what the structure is perhaps you want a draft or a scripted sample or, or a done for you copy of a letter of introduction get the hack book on our website today our website today get the hack book so in addition to what I shared before today I like to look at I like to talk to you on compile what are the other documents you need to attach to your letter of introduction or the first email you're sending out to a school there are some documents so I'm going to talk about one of those documents today after you've written that letter you've you've typed it into the email box there are some documents you must attach one of them is your your resume one of them is your resume. Your resume is the second thing that you need to compile at this stage. You don't submit a general resume to all the schools you're applying to. Make sure that your resume resonates with each program that you plan to apply to. So your resume must be well structured. That's why you should get the hack book. In the hack book, there is a done for you or a scripted sample of a resume. So if you're sending a letter of introduction, you need to attach a resume. So how do you craft and draft and structure your resume or CV so that it makes sense to the school you're applying to? That's why you need to go get the hack book. That's why you need to go get the hack book. So if you get the hack book today, you would get you will find a scripted sample of a resume. Do you get it? You find a scripted sample of a resume or CV. Now, in order to structure a resume, you must make sure that, just like I said in Modu, in, in one of the videos in the past episodes, I said that your application story, yes, that was in the first strategy, that you must clarify your objectives. And in, after you've clarified your objectives, you would have end up having an application story and a research and thorough research preparedness. So your resume must reflect your application story. It must re reflect especially your research preparedness. That's basically what your resume would do for you. To, do, to learn more about how you should structure your resume and how to make sure that each resume is program specific, not program generic. All right. To do this, visit www.studyabroad. Study, I beg your pardon, studyandimpact.com. Visit www.studyandimpact.com to get started on how to draft your own resume, especially by getting the hack book. So I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.